Hello YouTube! I'm Amelia and I have an obsession with Liz Lisa and Gyaru fashion. For today's video, I wanted to try and do a fun YouTube tag video that I've seen everyone basically on YouTube doing. That is the what's in my bag video. I actually got recommended by someone on Instagram to do a video about this, but I'm going to make a twist with this video. I wanted to do it a little bit different than everyone else and make a what's in my Liz Lisa tag video. I actually haven't seen anyone on YouTube make a video. If you have made a video about this, I apologize if I haven't recognized you. Over the years, I've gone to collect quite a bit of Liz Lisa handbags, and I have handbags in all different kinds of sizes, but naturally, I usually like to use my bigger handbags more just because I'm more of a pack mule kind of person when it comes to using handbags. The current bag that I'm using right now is this large Liz Lisa tote bag. It's, it's quite big for a handbag, I would say. And the thing that I love the most about this handbag is that there's just so many compartments. Oops. <laughs> you can put a ton of different things in. I think for the sake of this video, I don't want to show you all the things that I originally had in this bag because it's quite a lot of junk that I don't think is really interesting to share with you guys. So I just left in all the things that I definitely use on a daily basis or whenever I go out. And so the first thing that I want to show you guys is I guess the most important thing that's in this bag aside from my car keys which I did put in this bag just because they're downstairs and I'm too lazy to go grab them but you know the spiel like everybody drives a car so it's not really interesting to show my car keys off so I'm not gonna do that. Really cute and very beat up My Melody um, wallet. <laughs> I almost forgot what this is. I've had this for about a year and a half now and it's been thrown around in all of my bags. I still love it and it's hard for me to part with it just because it's my melody. Pretty simple pink pleather design with these little daisy button things. There's like an indention of her face and it's so badly beat up that the little keychain that went on the wallet broke off. I have to use the little ring on it to open it. I don't really want to open my wallet because it has my personal stuff in here and I do not want my identity stolen so it's best that I don't do that but you basically know what goes in a wallet. It just has my driver's license, my debit card, maybe a couple dollars in cash and just random punch cards to different places so it's it's really not that interesting. The next item that I have which is my biggest item to share with you guys is this pink notebook. I always carry this notebook everywhere when I want to jot down some ideas or if you want to remember something because someone like me, I have awful memory, so I tend to forget things quite easily. So I go to this notebook to basically jot down all of my thoughts. The next weird item I have in here, I don't know if like other people carry this in their bag, but I know I do. And that is my dry spray deodorant. I'm not saying that I'm a smelly person, but I don't like to sweat. That's like one little tidbit fact about me is that I hate sweating and I hate smelling sweaty or smelling people that are sweaty. I like this compared to the stick because it's a pretty quick fix. You just spray it and go. But yeah, I carry this everywhere. If I go to work, if I hang out with friends, I always have this in my bag. The next thing I have, which is also going on the topic of smelling good, I'm carrying one of my favorite perfumes that my mom got me recently. It's Ferrera Chic Le Eau. Yeah, I, I don't really know how to pronounce French things very well, so I apologize if there are any French people watching this and I butcher your language. I, I apologize. It smells like a very light, floral, floral, florally <laughs> scented perfume. I love perfumes that smell like flowers compared to any other fragrance. Um, Alongside with beauty things, I have two 
makeup things that I always carry with me everywhere. I could carry like a makeup bag in my bag, but I don't tend to do that because I don't want it spilling out and getting my bag dirty inside. I only carry the essentials and my essentials are this little blush compact, which is from Etude House. and just whatever lipstick color that I'm wearing. I am really into this brand. I, I think it's by um, Same Cosmetics. It's a Korean lipstick brand. I'm wearing it on my lips right now, so that's why I have it in my bag. It's like a bright, corally, pinkish red color. The reason why I carry a little blush compact is my skin's not very good with retaining blush very well, so I'll put on blush before I leave the house and it'll be nice and fresh but then after a couple hours it tends to wear out so I just opened this little compact here and has a little cute puff and then I just dab a little and I retouch. If you are a loving Liz Lisa girl and you have a Liz Lisa bag that you want to show off and talk about what's in the bag, I tag you to do it. If you like this video and you would like to see more Liz Lisa related content in the future, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And with that being said, I will catch you guys in another future video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!